This is pretty cool. A real-life Dexter's laboratory. Yeah, that's what you say it. A whiz kid with a very powerful idea. Max Lahan shares his story in tonight's Someone to Know. Do you think a 13-year-old could change the world? Well, this one might change your mind. Dressed in his lab coat. Yeah, I, I wear this uh, fairly often. Max Lahan sits in his parents' old boiler room, converted into a lab. I am in a boiler room right now. And he ponders the future often. The future that I imagine is the future, frankly, that we all imagine. He wants to make the world a better place. And to do that, you need one single thing. If you got energy, you got power, you have everything. So to solve this problem, a few months ago, Max took the matter into his own hands and created this electromagnetic harvester out of a coffee can, some wire, two coils, and a spoon. This cost me 14 bucks. The harvester conducts radio waves, thermal, and static energy and turns it into electricity. This wire takes the energy from the air. Down below here, we turn it from AC into DC. So we take the device outside and wrap up Max's brother into a string of LED lights. Bing! <laughs> a $14 invention was able to do that. So imagine the same harvester on a scale, 20 times larger. I'm very proud of him. Max's family is thrilled with what he's accomplished, and nobody is more impressed than his twin brother, Jack. Creating free energy, a device that he made in his lab out of 15 bucks, which is pretty amazing. As cheesy as this sounds, from day one on this planet, I knew that... I was put on here for a reason, and that reason is to invent, to bring the future. Max has always admired Albert Einstein and inventor Nikola Tesla. They taught him a little bit more than just science. Make the world a better place, to give the world what it doesn't have so that it doesn't have to struggle in basic things like energy. Max isn't in it for the money or the recognition. My true goal is to help, to invent a future where people can be happy, people can be safe, Sound. That's one kid with a whole lot of power. And believe it or not, Max is already taking online college courses from MIT, where he hopes to attend full-time in a few more years.